I don't understand why it's not focusing on my face right now. Why is there, there's like a little square right here. I don't know why it's doing that. So I just moved to a different part of the library. I moved to the opposite side of the library. And so far, the little square is around my face, so I know it's in focus. And also, my camera didn't show me that message again. And I'm on the opposite side of the library. That doesn't give me a headache. Don't mind me and just eating some snacks in the library, you know. Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. Today I am in the library right now because someone pointed out in my videos that um, um, uh, I'm so bad at vlogging in public. I felt kind of bored filming in my room all the time, so I'm gonna be trying to filming in a library right now. I just wanted to practice vlogging in public and I thought, you know, what better way than just to do it. So today I'm going to be filming a video. I think I'm going to do... I thought I just saw something and my camera is actually malfunctioning. Um, I tried to press the red dot button to get it to record and um, it actually like said this function is not available in this feature which has never happened before. Normally that happens when I'm trying to take a picture while I'm on the movie setting. So I don't know why it just glitched at me like that as soon as I saw someone sitting in that spot right there. The title of this video is going to be something along the lines of uh, ghost hunting in a library because this library is so haunted right now. Not right now, it's always been haunted. Honestly, so many people have experienced things in this library. Um, I've experienced things in this library and every time I come into this section, I get a massive headache, and I always feel like I'm seeing stuff at the corner of my eyes. I'll tell you guys the story in a minute, but I just get a massive headache anytime I'm here, and um, this is the science, and like, um, it's like the science section, and there's also like the archives behind me for like, you know, local city records and all that super cool stuff. And then also coincidentally, it's kind of funny, near the science section is actually like the psychic spiritual section, which I find kind of ironic that this is like a really weird, um, spooky ghost <laughs> section of the library. As far as I know, oh I thought I heard someone singing, but it's actually someone singing, not a ghost. I don't think anyone has actually like died in the library. Um, I hope not at least. I'm gonna tell you guys now a story about what happened to me at this library. So basically that's where I was just right now and then if you just go down here and literally right in front of this row right here and I was just sitting on this super spirally chair here and I remember sitting here and I looked out the window as you can tell it's a window um, there's blinds in front of it so I don't know how well you can tell but it is a window and I remember sitting here and I um, just grabbed a book from right behind me. Anyways, I was sitting and reading that book here, and I remember looking out this window, and it was dark. It was darker than it was now, and so dark that you could actually see the reflections of behind you in the mirror. And I looked in the mirror, saw someone behind me reaching for a book. And of course, as soon as I see the reflection, I turn around, and there's no one there. And I just sat down, I just grabbed Stephen Hawking's book and sat down in this spot. So it took me like two seconds to come and sit down in this spot and I would have heard someone behind me. I don't understand why it's not focusing on my face right now. Normally I have the opposite problem where it always focuses on my face. I really feel like it's, I don't mean this to be like dramatic or anything, but I really feel like my camera is super malfunctioning in this spot. I mean, that could have easily just been um it found the books more interesting than my face but i have it why is there there's like a little square right here i don't know why it's doing that because normally it focuses on my face i don't even know if it's in focus right now it's pointing at something right here like right there 
Okay, that was so weird. Okay, so I tried clicking the button again that I was talking about earlier about how um, when it's on picture mode, because it has two modes, I mean three modes, it has off, picture, and video. And when you have it on picture and try to click the video button, it will say this uh, button is not available on this function, and then also vice versa. So if you're trying to take a picture on video mode, it will have the same message. And um, I stopped recording and then I tried recording again in like five times in a row. It just flashed me that message. Again, I don't know if camera malfunctioning is much of evidence of the paranormal. Um, however, if you've seen my other videos, you know that my camera doesn't really do that kind of thing. Usually it just focuses on my face. Like it recognizes my facial features and it just goes to my face all the time. That's why I have trouble when I'm filming makeup videos and I'm showing you guys like a lipstick or something like that. It won't focus on the lipstick, it will focus on my face instead. So, um, even if the lipstick is like right here, you know? I swear this video was just supposed to be like a fun follow me around kind of thing. Um, and then, okay, in the viewfinder it's acting all like stuttery, like it's, oh my god, it's giving me a headache. I'm just not used to vlogging 3D, but it's looking like, almost like a GoPro. Um, know what, I'm going to move to an area that I do not get headaches from, so I'm just gonna go there. So I just moved to a different part of the library. I moved to the opposite side of the library, and so far the little square is around my face, so I know it's in focus, and also my camera didn't show me that message again and I'm on the opposite side of the library that doesn't give me a headache. Can we have a moment to appreciate uh, audiobooks for a minute? Audiobooks are just great, man. They're just great. So basically, I got some books here, so I'm gonna show you guys um, what I got. It's super echoey, by the way, so I'm a little bit nervous. But um, I got some books here, so I got this book here, Breaking into Acting for Dummies. Um, the font is really big, so I think that would be really good. So it's going to be a fast read, so that's why I got that. I didn't know if she had a book, but I'm going to read uh, Anna Kendrick's book, Little Scrappy Nobody, which I think is a really good title. And then I found this. Um, yeah, I have no idea what it's going to be about, but it sounds interesting. I didn't want to bring this up before um, and then I also don't want to show you guys because I feel like it will reveal what library I'm at but there is an actual funeral home like not even a five minutes walk away I mean I'm literally looking at it right in front of the library so I don't know if that has some influence on the ghost ghost dead people honestly this bathroom is giving me a headache too and I've heard spooky stuff happens in the bathroom ghost wise so um I don't know, it's pretty spooky in here. Give me a massive headache, I'm gonna go now. I think this is kind of ironic. Okay, so I was standing, um, right here. So I was standing here just filming um, some clips and stuff and I swore I heard someone over in this area um, going through the books and I needed to put my camera back in my bag because I thought I'm gonna be done filming today and I came over here and there's literally no one in this section but I heard someone like crinkling books and stuff. So I'm going to end this now. Hopefully that whole clip wasn't too blurry and you could see my face. But yeah, 